Okay, so welcome to another tutorial and today I'm gonna show you how to customize this nice monographic animation created in After Effects, of course it's uh, Motion Templates for Premiere which will work with the latest version 2018 and also will work with the earlier version 2017 of course after April came up, of course make sure to check your version and I'm gonna show you what else we can create and download those motion templates. I'm gonna show you the second project and play and you will see. As you see, we got different color, different text and you know. Let me show you another one that I have in here. Let me go ahead and play. And this is, you will be able to create, of course, downloading this motion templates that I created in After Effects, as I said. Let me go ahead and make sure to quit all of them. And make sure to go to my site, make sure to check out my YouTube channel. As you see, I got a couple more tutorials how to create a motion template for Premiere. Make sure to check the links. Of course, will be a free template that you can download for Premiere, as I said. And make sure to check this, uh, my website, of course, this product information, you know, called Motion Templates for Premiere. Make sure to read the description, cost $5 if you really want to support me and help us. So make sure to check this out. Let me go ahead and open Premiere Pro. I have my Premiere Pro 2018, of course, is 12.1.2. Make sure, as I said, if you're using 2017, make sure to check if it's the version 11.2. 1 or 11.0 I guess the version came out after 2017 April you know and make sure to check uh, your version as I said as you know I have my tutorials how to install in the latest version you know and how to customize the libraries make sure to check for the Mac users and also I have for the Windows users so make sure to check the description I will leave the link of course and as you see I already have my three motion templates that I create for this project but I create, uh, you know, two versions of each. One is uh, animation in and animation out. The other one is just animation in. So I'm going to just use the animation in. I'm going to drag them to my timeline and make sure, uh, as you see, I got the, of course, the background. And this is the animation. So how we can customize this is simple and easy. I'm going to go ahead and make sure holding an option, Alt and PC and drag onto the layer 4 and make sure to put this invisible, invisible and make sure this on the top is selected if we go to essential graphics if you don't have you can go window make sure the essential graphic is checked and then we can go ahead and make sure look for the opacity all of them the parameters of so you see opacity called opacity we're gonna go ahead and make sure to put all of them all the way down to zero so let me go ahead and make sure and start from the top to the bottom let me go ahead and look for opacity, uh, opacity, as you see all the opacities as I said, so let me go ahead and go put all the opacities down to zero. And make sure to leave just the mask, you know, 100%, as you see, here we got the mask, I'm going to leave 100%, and we're going to go ahead and make sure all of them, 0% opacity. As you see, we just left the mask, in this case, this little circle called mask, and then we can go ahead and drag the image. I suggest to use PNG image and for this tutorial I'm using JPG. As I say, I suggest to do PNG and then we can just arrange. Make sure if we put for now and unless make sure if we just go a little bit, you know, just to make sure the icon is inside the circle. And let me go ahead and put all the way up 100% again and just put this down the bottom, which is in the third layer. And then we can go ahead and, you know, right click and make sure nest camp and we're going to call wireless. And hit OK. And then we can go ahead and make sure to put this back in. And make sure this uh, wireless selected. We're going to go ahead and add the effect called track mode. As you know, I've been using a lot of this. And make sure put in the layer, which layer we have in this case is 4. Make sure it's in the 4 and this is what we will have. And then we can go ahead and make sure select this in the bottom, which is layer 2. And we're going to go ahead and make sure just change the color the same that we have in the icon, of course. So let me make sure pick this and go ahead and pick the same color. And we're going to go ahead and make sure where is the other one. This one, the same color. And what else? This one maybe the same color. 
and as you see it's uh, showing this little circle at one dot so make sure to select this make sure to select it in this case the mask we're going to go ahead and make sure it's zero percent opacity as you see if we go and fit and comp and you will have this nice animation and then we can go ahead and make sure you know select those three layers right click and nest the comp and i'm going to call plant one hit ok and if we go project panel let me close all of them just we'll go ahead and see this is plan one so we're going to go ahead and make sure create mm, a lot of more if you want so let me go ahead and make sure the plan one selected right click make sure i really suggest to do right click make sure otherwise it won't work and i'm going to go ahead and rename this plan two and we're going to go ahead and drag on to the timeline you know make sure select it if we go inside make sure delete this wireless in this case and i'm going to go ahead and drag another image which i have and this called maybe face let me go ahead actually you know let me go ahead and see the face i have in here so let me go ahead and drop right here you know at the same thing make sure it's inside the circle let me go ahead and make sure put this invisible for now and this one as well as you see this is the image basically it's inside the circle so i'm gonna go ahead and make sure you know right click and nest account and i'm gonna call face and then we can go ahead and make sure uh, the check mark again so let me go ahead and double click and make sure i got number four and you will have this and if we put this back in so we will have this basically so then the sample we need to go and select this and make sure to change the same color that we have in this icon you know and also the saving where we can just change let me go ahead and change the same color that we have up here and also we can just uh, put number two in this case and also you can just uh, you know rename this uh, saving i'm gonna just say facing and just type enter and this is what we will have so we will if we go to project number four because i already have other projects and we will have this so we can go ahead and make sure you know this is kind of like you know let me just move the plan one to the left i guess a little bit so we can go ahead and pull actually it's not showing plan one so why it's not showing so let me go ahead oh simple because we need to put the background make sure the background is all the way down to zero so as you see i forgot to put this if we go back and you will have this make sure this one as well the background is all the way down to zero make sure don't forget that make sure go number four and you will see so let me just move this to the left as i said and you can just arrange you know moving this uh, position you know and also you can put a little bit down the white position of course and that's the way you can customize you know as i said you can just go ahead and create a five four, or six whatever you want and you can of course scale up here as you see so it's easy to customize as i said and that's the way we create this so let me go ahead and create the other project and show you the sample that we create using those motion templates as i said let me go ahead and create another composition let me call project five all right and then what we can do and here is go ahead and drag the background and as i said you can create any background you want let me go ahead and zoom in a little bit and then we can go ahead into my libraries as i said you can check my tutorials for mac users and on the software windows users a separate video how to install templates and also how to create libraries so make sure to check the link of course the tutorials and then in this case i'm going to go ahead and make sure to drag this one actually you know what let me go ahead and drag this actually let me see which one is just the end animation uh, you can try with the in and out of course so let me go ahead and zoom in a little bit out a little bit i mean and then we can go ahead and see the animation this is what we have so what we can do is make sure this is selected uh, holding down option alt and pc we can duplicate and then make sure this is selected and go to my motion graphics edit and i'm gonna go ahead and do the same all the opacity we're gonna go ahead and put on zero percent you know all of them so make sure the opacity is all the way down to zero and make sure 
just leave the uh, I guess we need to leave just the progress bar you know all the way up to 100% uh, opacity you know and all of them must be zero zero and let me just put this on baseball and see and basically this is what we have as you see just the progress bar is 100% and then what we can do is put this back in make sure this is selected down the bottom and second layer of course and we can go ahead and change the number let me just type 45% for sample hit enter as you see and also we can change the letter of course so let me go graphic design we can go ahead and say web design as you see we can change and then how do I go and because if I play all the way to the end the bar is going all the way to the end of course and the sample I came with this idea because uh, Premiere doesn't support uh, some uh, expressions I was working on After Effects so in the future I might do one with expressions so it will be much easier for you guys to customize so let me go ahead but in this case it's easy of course let me just make sure and select this on the bottom I mean on the top uh, let me go ahead and put 100% this just for you know so just so you know guess 45% will be kind of like you know 25 45% will be here because 50 75 and 100% so 45% uh, will be right there so let me go ahead and put right there and then what we can do is go ahead and make sure it's selected uh, pick the pencil tool in this case and we're gonna go and create so let me just go ahead and create this mask you know around the stroke so we will have this nice animation so make sure this is a 0% the mask feather of course and if we play this is what we have so we need to make sure this on the bottom the progress bar opacity is all the way down to zero of course if we play this is what we have 45 percent and so make sure you know this is the way we customize the other one too that i show you let me go ahead and put fit comp of course okay you already know how to change the color so you will have this in case let me show you the final result that i show you let me just go ahead and open this and this is what I'm talking about as you see all of them have different text I mean different percentage and different colors and the different text so that's the way you customize as I said the mask if you have 45% so you can just uh, mask this out this little piece if you have 100% of course you can go all the way to the end and I have 60% I got 50% and here that's the way we customize so make sure to check the tutorial you know and make sure to check as i said my website and make sure to download the templates uh, free or paid of course and you can start working with and make sure to check uh, my youtube channel my site and also my spanish youtube channel if you don't mind subscribing will be more helpful you know and also make sure to keep in tune for the next tutorial coming up and see you next time